For grocery stores that are looking to boost their online presence, think long term for better success. I'll tell you why. With the growing number of online shopping options like Amazon and Amazon Fresh, the pressure remains for supermarkets to boost their own online presence. According to IBIS World Data, cited by Citigroup, online grocery sales of about $6 billion in 2013 could advance 9.5% every year to $9.4 billion in 2017. That's more than tripling the 3% yearly sales growth of the 2008 to 2013 period. But as more supermarkets find ways to execute online, we wonder how deeply are they looking beyond their immediate desire to fend off competition? Are they building an online presence that makes sense long term? How profitable are they? How much loyalty are they building? How might it affect the store image, size, and assortments and operations? UPS recently issued research, Pulse of the Online Shopper, a customer experience study which could help food retailers sense what's ahead in customer preferences and behavior. For example, UPS notifies retailers of the challenges they face in satisfying today's flex shopper, who's ruthlessly efficient, switching channels and devices to best suit their personal convenience while evaluating and purchasing products. Information and control are paramount, and retailers must offer near-perfect shopping experiences across every channel and device to thrive. Other interesting notes from the report include, 81% feel free shipping is critical. To qualify for it, 93% take some action, such as adding more items to the cart or choosing a slower transit time. Just 50% say returns are easy and retailer policies are clear. And 82% like being able to return items to the store or ship back using a free prepaid label. Efficiency matters a lot. 43% of consumers start their product searches at retail. 18% browse the site of a favorite store. 18% visit the physical store. 7% view circulars and catalogs. More than half of millennials and one-third of all consumers say social media does influence their purchasing. Supermarkets need to remember the long term and how their online service could affect their retail enterprise. Be sure to subscribe so you'll never miss an episode and visit supermarketguru.com for more information and more videos just like this.